What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be breaking down your first look at a major plot leak for Spider-Man 3 that may reveal to us that Eddie Brock makes his first MCU debut, including a new connection to Venom 2 as well, and it may not be what you expected. But before we dive in, if you could, grab that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz on everything comic book movie related. Should you do just that, we'll qualify you for a special giveaway I'll be doing. So if you want, stay tuned till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyway, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need I say more? Let's dive right in. For context, we've been getting a ton of news lately regarding the Spider-Man franchise and its future in the MCU moving forward, as Sony's so-called Venomverse is now loosely connected to the MCU. In fact, we may also be getting the first official Venom 2 trailer, as well as some Spider-Man 3 details at this year's Comic-Con. But today, we now have a major Spider-Man 3 leak from insider Roger Wardell that could reveal to us that Eddie Brock has a cameo in the movie, and in his exact words... Sony once again got their way with Venom in Spider-Man 3. Eddie Brock will be back in New York investigating the death of Mysterio for the Eddie Brock Report. Take into account that this is coming from the same source that leaked a ton of Avengers Endgame info before it was released, which actually turned out to be true, so take that as you will. But according to this tweet, it appears that Venom may be coming to the MCU a lot sooner than we expected. Therefore, should this plot leak turn out to be true, it would mean that Venom 2 will take place right after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home, where Peter was framed for the death of Mysterio. Which would make sense considering that Venom Let There Be Carnage will be hitting theaters on June 25th, 2021, as well as Spider-Man 3 on November 5th, 2021. Therefore, Venom 2 could set up some of the plot for Spider-Man 3, with Eddie investigating the death of Mysterio while Peter is on the run from the wall. And with that in mind, it'd be a great way to connect both of these films. It should also be noted that Roger also revealed that an Agent Venom series was in the works for Disney+, Plus, with Tom Hardy becoming anti-Venom. In fact, he also tweeted that a new Spider-Man deal was in the works between Marvel and Sony that would please many Marvel fans, and considering that Spider-Man is the only hero with the power to cross between different universes, Sony could use this new deal to bring Venom into the MCU. Finally, it has also been rumored that Tom Holland's Spider-Man may appear in the post credit scene for Venom 2, which would make yet another connection from Sony's Venomverse to the main MCU, and based on all this new info, it does appear that everything is coming together, but I guess only time will tell. Having said that, what are your thoughts on these reveals, and would you like to see Venom in Spider-Man 3? Sound off with your thoughts down below. Now, let's get into the giveaway details. I will be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Buzz t-shirt that is now available in all sizes, and all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.